I'm Vicky Carr and I'm one half of Textbook Studio uh, based in Manchester. Um, we specialise in uh, book design and work a lot in education and also in craft beer. The first piece of graphic design that I really noticed that appealed to me will probably have been a record cover. Um, probably the same for a lot of people really, isn't it? But um, when I was 11, I saw the, the miseducation of Lauren Hill um, and the sleeve for that really appealed to me because it, I, I learned something about design um, and what it means to be a designer from looking at it that really sort of turned my head. Um, the artwork on the cover is a, a carving on a school desk of Lauren Hill's face. And it occurred to me that the designer that had created it must have spent some time thinking about habits that school kids have. And I sort of understood then that being a designer meant noticing things about the world in order to sort of convey a feeling or a message to other people. And I was just deeply, deeply impressed by that. Um, it was undoubtedly the best record that came out that year in a kind of, I guess, rap rock was very popular. And um, the video was really cool too. Right now, um, what am I working on? Uh, since the beginning of lockdown, I've been mainly working on digital things. Um, we've got a lot of clients asking us to help them take things online or contact audiences differently. But uh, I guess I've mainly been working in the art sector for galleries and artists and that sort of thing. So I've done a couple of websites, some social media stuff, some video. Um, I'm currently working on an interesting project based in Preston about creative infrastructure and city planning, uh, working with a bunch of artists and some producers to rethink the way cities and spaces in them can be used more creatively and in a more fun way. Secondly, another project about, uh, again, about rethinking things. I'm working with a, a big gallery to rethink the way that the public use galleries and how galleries can be more of a useful thing for the public to interact with in their everyday lives, not just sort of when they go for a look round. Um, and finally, a bit of an odd one, um, working on a book for an artist, which it was originally to accompany a live musical performance, but obviously COVID times, that's not going to happen at the moment. And um, so now it's going to have digital elements and a book. And um, it will, it's about a place in Cornwall, an area of the country I don't know much about, and um, where the Earth's mantle or the Earth's crust pokes out of the sea. And you can go and you can see it and touch it. So that's kind of an interesting maritime type based project. If I had to give one piece of advice to young creatives just starting out, um, I'd have to relay a piece of advice that I was given when I was a student. I can't remember who, who told me this, and uh, I don't know who the, the quote is accredited to, um, but it was just the idea of giving everything away, everything that you, that you have as a creative person, like your ideas, your time, sharing your equipment, sharing your knowledge, talking to people, um, so it's kind of karmic in a sense, and it's something I've, I've lived by since I was a student, that if you're open to people and situations, then good things will come back to you. Um, obviously not in a way that ever kind of, you know, does you out of stuff, but um, in a, I guess that people can be quite defensive in this industry and keep things to themselves. And if you give everything away, then people will be more inclined to speak to you or work with you or want to collaborate with you. Um, so that's that's been a really nice thing 